Gone in the past. Please work is fixed payment for work completed. We will avoid to complete a particular task, such as an electrician installing lights at earning piece work. So, such as fruit picker, their task is to fill the basket, to get made to the basket. Okay? Advantages, productivity, any, any other advantages? It, what is encouraged you to do? To work faster. Harder. Faster work. And you get like, sorry, do you have Carl Willem? Carl Willem? Yeah. No? They're probably, oh, miss. Yeah. It could be A7. Hey, so the only bad thing is you might not do the job as well, though. Yeah. So there's always, will anything add? They try like take yes. shortcuts and stuff. Yeah, shortcuts. What else? What do you know about say, for example, the fruit season? Is it all year round? No. no. So, so for the whole for 12 months, it could be booming, humming for four months. If you're in the industry, you, you're flat out. There's no parties, no nightlife. You, because by the time, you know, eight hours of food picking in the sun, you're going to be buggy, just go home, have a shower, eat something, and go to sleep. That's for four months. What about the other eight months? Something to do. You pick other stuff. Yeah, you can pick other stuff. But I'm saying in the same location. Oh, okay. So there's, so there's no... Permanent, permanency. Okay. Any other disadvantages? There's no extra pay, holiday, leave, pay. Yeah. So there's no learning. You could get bonuses. You could get bonuses like a bumper crop, and then if you have a good employer, they they, they can give you bonuses, but generally no loading. Okay, so really, so at the end of the day, piece meal is you get paid for the pieces or things that you do for the employer. Yeah? So for example, Nara is a tiler and charges $47 per square meter to lay tiles. How much we earn for, for laying tiles and roofs areas 14 square meters? So he gets forty-seven dollars per square meter. He lays 14, 14 meters. So he says fourteen times forty-seven. Okay. It's just a different way of saying a very basic mathematical equation, which is two variables: the so rate times the amount. What about royalties? Let's move forward to royalties. What, what, which, which line of, uh, we often hear about royalties? Okay. Entertainment in particular? Movies, movies or? Music. Music, yeah. yeah. How, do, how do royalties in movies, movies or te television programs work? If you have written music, for example, and you have something when you're playing the music, so for example, so you're a, you're a musician, you've come up with a really good song that's gone number one worldwide, that every time a radio station anywhere in the world plays it, or any other entertainer that's take up that take up your song to sing it about to sing it you get a royalty. So it could be one cent, two cent, or I don't know what whatever it may be. But but so you you get royalties whenever your song is played. So for example, uh, Paul McCartney, the, every time a Beatles song that he wrote is played on the radio or or, or produced in records and so on, he gets royalties for it. 
So it's usually royalties refer to intellect, some kind of intellectual property rights. Yeah. So that's the, the entertainment, television programs. So every time, every time, uh, say you're you're a TV company, you make a show. Then every time that show is shown, then you get you get royalties. But what about and the other the other branch the other aspect that you get royalties is uh, books. So your author. So who's the who's the author for the Harry Potter series? Yeah. So every time they reprint, she gets she gets money. Yeah. What happens if like the author dead and like the estate gets it? Yeah. Well, uh, that family could be running the state. So Michael Jackson, even, even though he's dead, but every time you hear, I'm bad, I'm bad, then he's a state, get some money, generate some money. Even though the, the owner of the um, intellectual property, the song, is dead, but he's a state, get some money. Classic example is Elvis Presley. So he's dead way, way long, but his estate keeps on earning money because through royalties or anything that you know, Elvis related activity, he get the estate gets the royalty. Yeah. Income from government. What what is income from government? What's the what's the most common income from government? Before that. Pension. Pension is when you retire, yeah? Before that? Centrelink. Centrelink. The doll. The doll. So you could be, you know, in, uh, say, you're 17 now, two years time. No, I don't want to be anything to do with this world. I just want to go surfing. So, rock up to Centrelink, put your name down, and then say, I'm having, you know, I'm having trouble with, um, work or something, they give you the goal. And then for every two weeks you go fill out a form you get, and then you go surfing all day, all night. Yeah. Do you have like, like, can you be like not allowed to be like if you can't, if you like can't find work? I, like, yeah, I don't, I don't understand. Well, they, but they must have some kind of regulations that you have to meet before they give you the unemployment benefit. But, you know, unemployment benefits, it's not really income. Why? Because it's just bare minimum. It just barely covers your living expenses. So, you know, so it's not something that you de can depend on. Because where does the government get their, their money? Tax, tax place. Okay, so income from government. Some people receive a pension, allowance or benefit from the government. For example, age pension is payable to... To a person who's reached 65 years of age, by the time you guys retire, uh, my my bet is you won't get a pension until at least 70. Okay. So if you're 15, 16 now, another 50 years time, 55 years time, that's your that's your working life, then you probably increase the pension pension age. So, so far, any questions on peace work, royalties, and income from government? So, the mathematics underlying that is still is very, very uh, easy, easy to understand. Sorry, questions? Right. Uh, so, like, if you have like a exercise one e. A dry cleaner, question one, a dry cleaner charges $9 to clean a dress. How much do they earn by dry cleaning 20, 250 dresses? So, you're always given a rate per unit, and then they do X number of units. So, it's a rate of time, the number of units they do, it gives you the total that they earn. Okay? So, question 
Question three. Angus works part time by addressing um, by addressing envelopes at home and is paid twenty three dollars per a hundred envelopes completed, plus forty dollars to deliver them to the office. What is his pay for delivering two thousand address envelopes? So what is his rate? Twenty three dollars per one hundred. So how many lots of one hundred in two thousand? How many hundreds in, in 2000? 20. 20. So therefore, the rate is $23 times 20. So that's for his work to do the addressing envelope plus $40. So you plus on top of that $40 and then that's his total, total pay. Amelia earns a royalty of 24% on net sales from writing a fiction book. There were 18,640 net sales on the last financial year. What is Amelia's royalty payment? So, he, uh, the rate is 24% on net sales. So you need to find out what is the net sales. Net sales given to you, 18,640. So 18,640 times 24%, that's his payment. Yeah? Straightforward? Any mm -hmm. questions? Alright, so I'm going to exercise 1E. Thank you. 
Rocco Iani. Yep. Bring your school bag, pick up your things, come down to my office, please. Who knows what they'll do if they have the shoes.
How are we going? All right. Straightforward. Yep. You want to go home now? Yes. <laughs> then why did you fix it? Isn't it your life though? After, after royalties, piecework, and income from government, there's going to be gross pay, net pay, and deductions. How does it work? It's, really, it's, it's usually related to your, your personal income. So, gross pay, net pay, and deductions. Okay? Let me read it for you. Employers must pay a minimum rate of an award or enterprise agreement. The rates will depend on a type of work and actual time to work. Gross pay is a total of an is a total of an of an employee's pay, including allowances, overtime pay, commission, and bonuses. It is the amount of money before any deductions are made. The amount of remaining other deductions has been subtracted for the net pay or take home pay. Deductions are a regular amount of money to subtract from a person who, from a person's wages, salary. But people have many different deductions to subtract from their gross pay, such as income tax, superannuation, health insurance, union fee. Uh, child support and so on and so on. Okay. So for example, Steve, right? So he's right his rate right is thirty five dollars per hour. Okay. Standard week. Standard week thirty seven and a half hours. So therefore, his gross pay is equal to 37 and a half times 35 dollars equals punch, punch, punch. Can someone punch that equal for me? 37 and a half times 35 is uh, 1,312. 1,312.5. Point five. Okay, that's his gross pay. Now, right? Deductions. Yeah. So he pays his tax rate, for example, is twenty five percent. Okay. Twenty five percent tax. So twenty point twenty five times thirteen twelve point five. Is equal to can you punch it for me? Twenty-five percent times one thousand three hundred and twelve point five. What's that give you?
net pay. Laura is a nurse who receives a gross weekly wage of $2,345. She has the following deductions taken from her pay. Income tax, $812,861. Health fund payments, $48.25. Subannuation, $67.95. What is Laura's net pay? So it's just simply $2,345. Minus 861, minus 4825, minus 6795. So that is her net pay. But can I just state, for, for, if, if, if they tell you that the deduction is superannuation, just follow it, but superannuation isn't a deduction. Okay? It's on top of, of your gross pay. But you don't touch it, you don't get access to it until you retire. So in your in most cases, you know, if you was 15, 16, your part-time job, or you won't touch into another 15 years' time. Reading information from a pay slip. Oscar received the following pay slip. Amount is received is uh, what amount is received is paid for gross pay. So if you read, if, if you open to page 23, his ordinary time is 26 hours. His rate, his rate of pay is 25 dollars an hour. Amount 650 dollars. So that is his. What's that? 650 is his what? Gross pay. Gross pay is the total pay initially. Yeah. Alright, what's his net pay? Okay, his net pay. Pay as you go tax of $100, and then he has a social club of $2, hex repayment of $13, superannuation of $35, less post tax deductions of $50, so net pay $450. 
direct debit to account, total payment $450. Year to date, 900. So what does that tell you? That is, especially like the second week. So the, the first week, you pretty much earn the same thing, $450. Year, year to date is a, a cumulative total of how much you earn year to date. It usually resets at 1st of July. Why is that? Because our financial calendar goes from 1st of July to 30th of June. Okay? Questions on gross pay, net pay deductions? So in here it says superannuation is a deduction, but um, just, just follow that. Question. All right. Exercise 1F. Question 1. Calculate the weekly net pay for these people. Isabella receives a gross pay of 1386 and has a total of deductions of 875. That's a lot of deductions. The largest component of your deduction if your uh, wages or salary earner is what? What do you think? The largest component of deduction that come out of your pay packet is tax. Okay. So, have you seen this quadrant? Sorry. So, if you, some people are happy to be earning a wage salary, some people are happy to work for somebody. Somebody is happy to run a business, and somebody is happy to hire people to run a business for them, and so on. Yeah. And you, I can't remember exactly, but it's in you know, rich dad, poor dad, that quadrant, and it, it kind of makes sense. But as a salary or a wages earner, the largest component is tax. So you always hear that you always hear that people try to not. If you don't pay your tax, it's illegal, but what do they try to do? There are no taxes on blog or comments. Yeah. Minimize their tax obligation. Minimize their tax. So, would you prefer to pay $100 worth of tax when you can get it reduced to $50 legally? So, for example, you pay $100 in income tax. You can employ an accountant that charges $20 to reduce your tax liability, tax burden of $50. Is that a go or, or is that a, still a, a, a better off for you? Yeah. Because instead of paying $100 to the government, you're paying $50 to the government, $20 to your accountant, you still get better off of $30. What if, what if your accountant charges you $70 to get your tax reduced to $60? Because you save, you save 40 to pay off the government, but then you pay $70 to your accountant. So, you know, it's actually costing you more. Jack, question three. Jack's annual gross pay is $48,750. The deductions are $9,150 for income tax, $1,462 for health insurance, and 5,284 superannuation. What are Jack's total deductions? So, is that a no-brainer? What's his total deductions? What do you have to do? You add up all the total deductions. What is Jack's annual net pay? Net pay is gross pay. Net pay equals gross Pay minus deductions. Or you can simply rearrange that. Net pay plus deductions is equal to gross pay. Okay. Any questions on that? As you guys go up, 
Chance that eighty percent of the of the people in this room will be a salary or wages earner, and the other twenty percent will be a business owner. Something like that. What's the attraction of running a business? You have control. Yeah. What else? Um, you get to boss people around. Yeah. What else? No, ultimately, money. what? More money. more money. Yeah, profit, you make more money. To make more money, you have to put in more hours. You take more risk because you get more reward. More yeah. risk. Yeah, the, the, the saying is more risk, more reward. If you, as, if you don't take the risk, you're happy with just turning up, do your 40 hours, get paid. That, if that suits your profile, that's fine. But if you're on it, I want to have that overseas holiday in Aspen. I want to have, you want to go take the kids to Europe and this and that, drive a nice car. You need to earn a lot more money, but and then so you have to start a business initially. And if the business fails, then you fail, then you lose something. If the business takes off, you make more money, you get richer. Okay? Alright, question. So for today, 1E and 1F. Have you guys heard, you know, um, bricklayers, 
for, for every Greek land, for every Greek they get like a dollar or something. And then, so each week they get they, they do a lot, they can earn two thousand dollars or three thousand dollars or something. But there's a but here. With bricklaying, what happens? It's really strenuous on your body. So when you're young, you'll recover. But can you imagine by the time you're 40, 50, the bones start to creak and then you have to bend over and do that repetition. So and when you're young, that's fine because your body can recover and, 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 uh, and rejuvenate. But as you get older, just like, just like uh, laboring, so you get whatever, when you're young, strong, and that's why we don't feel it, but imagine when you're laboring when you're about 50, 60, that's when you every time you move, you can feel a creak in your bones and so on. So to work out gross pay, if, the, if you're given net pay, you can add back deductions to get gross pay. Gross pay is a big picture. Less, less deductions is your net pay. So that's just rejigging your the basic equation.
Oh, your shoes. Oh. What did you get in trouble for? Oh, this is rocks. Hey, sir. Yep. What chapters did you say we have to do? It's up to A, B, C, D, E, F. Oh, oh cool. I just have to finish F. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> what, haven't you done? <laughs> I can't remember. I just pushed numbers. Um, now I have to close the app and relaunch it. Because it's annoying. The biggest, guys, the biggest, this week two, you guys can start getting noticed about week three, week four, and all your sessions are going to come around about six or seven. And so that's when you say, welcome to year 11. So really, just ma- make sure you just manage the time well from now on to the first batch of assessments that you do, and then you'll be fine.
But they're not coming in by week four. Which one? E. Yeah, but I can't find it. <laughs> it's in a folder somewhere. Well, then you obviously didn't do it. Why? Because we need to know how to do it. Fifty. Five. Do you divide by two twice? I'm working it out. You said divide by I'm close. Right, that's where Easton got it wrong, I think. You're supposed to do something before you divide it. One eighty, one eighty, two ninety. I got then I don't know how to do it.
$22 is missing from somewhere. No, I can't be bothered looking it out. The ball's gone. I'll look it out at home. Oh, you want, you want to keep it? Oh, yeah. So, I'm going to write it. Please, knock, knock out. 